it's me again, Victoria Jade. Today I filmed a outfit of the day inspired by Miss Jane Porter. And I just want to let you know, today we are joined by this beautiful specimen. This is Yoda. He's so cute. Look at the little face. He's so cute. Anyways, I just had to show him. Oh, there's my pizza boxers. Anyways, so I was inspired by Jean Porter from Tarzan. She is very iconic in the fashion realm of Disney. Um, she starts out with this great outfit, old English high collar with an ascot and a big bustle dress. I don't know how she wore that. And then, you know, trying to find girls in that outfit because girl be killing it. And then she transitions into this button up with the skirt and then at the end when she's Tarzan's wife, she gets a little bit more risque and wears that little two piece. You know, boys, you know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about. Anyway, so in my video I was wearing a vintage Lily Pulitzer A-line dress. She is known for her A-line dresses. This one's really, really great condition. I saw it and I'm like, I gotta do a Jane inspired video on this. It has a really great Hawaiian print on it with this golden yellow. It's so gorgeous. And it also has pockets. Any dress with pockets, winning. Winning on that. So, um, it also comes with a belt. It's a wrap dress, but it isn't. I don't know how to explain it, but it's so beautiful. And you can also know the quality of a um, vintage item when it comes to the hem of it. This one is a great example. It has a lace trim and also a raw hem. You can see that right there. And um, you could tell the quality on that because the fabric will withhold itself when it's not properly overlocked. It's not completely enclosed, I, I guess what I'm saying. So this one is in perfect condition. It's so beautiful. And I was really inspired by the print and so I wanted to play on print. When it comes to mix and matching print, you kind of have to keep it in the realm of is it a geometric uh, geometric print or a organic print. This one, is, of course, is organic. It has organic shape with it. So you kind of want to keep either or. You don't want to mix a geometric and organic together. Then it kind of looks weird. I mean, you can try it, but I'm just not that person to do that. So um, this necktie was made by my mother. Um, she did it for me while I was at um, work, but what she did was she took two strips of fabric because the bolt was really, really small, and she put five inches and a half an inch seam on each side, did um, good side to good side, and flipped it, did sewed it, flipped it, and then pressed it so the seam is on the back. As you can see right there. So it was really, really fun to do this um, outfit with the color purple. It's a contrast in colors. And every time I see purple and yellow, it kind of reminds me of the Lakers. And I don't like that. It's, I just, I'm weird with color tones. But this one actually worked out really well. Um, and also the pattern is a little bit of a smaller um, floral. And it's just so cute. And I doubled it tied it in a bow and there you go I really wanted it long and you know get some more drama out of it so on top of my head I was wearing a vintage woven cloche hat I thrifted this guy as well and it's really different from any cloche hat I've had um, they're mostly made out of wool and I've never seen one that is woven so that was a really really fun surprise and it kind of went with that um, tropical feel of Jane. So at the bottom of my feet, I guess on my, on my foot, I was wearing these uh, cheetah pumps. They're Mary Jane style with a great platform. I got these from Forever 21 years ago. It was really great to pair this with um, this outfit and like I said mix and matching pattern ways. Um, it was an organic pattern. I mean, a leopard. It's natural, I guess you could say. Cheetah print. Um, 
and it went really great with the hat. So the brown and the brown top bottom kind of situation. So really blended the outfit together. It really put it together. It's not like we were throwing colors somewhere and it wasn't incorporated, you know, and meshed together well. So for fun, I also added a umbrella, which is broken. It will not close, but here it is. I got this one from Amazon, and this was strictly for just for fun. Um, but I will put the link below as well for the umbrella. Um, it's just really, really fun to have. It was I bought it for a um, outfit I was going to wear to Disneyland, and I never got to make it to Disneyland. So maybe one day I'll make a video about that. Um, so we'll see. But anyways, um, moral of the story is this outfit was really, really fun to put together. It was a great way to use of color, neutral color tones mixed with uh, complementary colors, pattern ways mixing together, and I hope it inspires you to be a little bit fun with patterns, and yeah, so that was pretty much it. Thank you for listening, and I will see you next week for another video, and we will have a good time. Do this again. Thank you so much and see you next week.